Hey guys and welcome to another video by Astro Music and Tutorials. This week we're gonna show you how to make a lo-fi track with the chiptune element. As usual we'll be using stock or free plugins so anybody can follow as long as you're using FL Studio. If you're new to the channel, please go and check out our other content and subscribe if you like what you see. The song playing in the background is one of our originals called Hilltops which we recently put out, so go and check that out as well. Now let's start the video. So this is a simple chord progression that I came up with. It was made with a free plugin called Keyzone Classic, which is usually my go-to piano plugin. It comes with 5 presets so you can really play around with it, but for this song, I'm using the Yamaha Grand Piano preset. On its own, it sounds great, but I like to roll off the highs and some of the lows to make it sound more lo-fi. Next, I like to layer the piano progression with the Rhodes Piano to boost that mid-range. This was made with an FL stock plugin called Harmer. I didn't add any extra EQ to it, but make sure the levels are fine and that it's not overpowering the piano. So here's what the piano and the road sound like together. I like to keep my bass line simple and it usually just follows the bass notes of the piano progression. I also like to use an organic sounding bass for my lo-fi beats. This is a bass sample from the Cymatics Eternity sample pack. It's absolutely free and comes with a whole library of sounds. I'll leave the link to it in the description. For the effects, I just add a multiband compression to boost the bass. and an EQ to cut off the unnecessary highs. For drums, I use samples from the Cymatics Lo-Fi Starter Pack, which is also available for free on Cymatics. You can find a library of snares, kicks, percussions, and even melodies, which you will find very useful while building your first lo-fi beat. As you can see, I like to layer two snares and pan them to opposite sides to make it sound more full in the mix. I layer a low filtered snare with a high unfiltered rim shot to make a unique sounding snare. Pluck is a preset from the stock plugin Citrus called Clock. Make sure to roll off the low end because on its own it has a lot of bass, which will make the mix muddy. You don't have to worry too much about the high end though.
This pad is also a preset from the stock plugin Citrus, but on its own it sounds a bit more different than what you're hearing. This is what it sounds like without effects. I added a stock plugin called Grow Speed, which gives it the stutter effect. And I also added a multiband compressor to boost the overall signal. So this is what I would call the main ingredient of the song and it's made by using the free plugin called Magical 8-Bit Plug which gives you these great sounding 8-bit sounds. Make sure you cut the high ends off because the sound can be quite harsh to the ear and won't sit well in a lo-fi song. And I also added some reverb to it to make it more pleasant to the ears. The intro is basically the same piano progression played using the same piano plugin, just on a higher octave. I consolidated it using the commands Ctrl Alt C and made it into a unique WAV file so that we can add individual effects to it without affecting the overall piano sound. I added an EQ with the radio filter preset to give it that old lo-fi sound. And now let's take a listen to the full beat. <laughs> 